everyone, it's Be Divine here again and welcome to the guidance for October. And I know I haven't been with you guys for a while and I have been on break with Divine Miracle readings, although I have been doing the free readings. Uh, but I am going to be having my page up for another week uh, so you are able to uh, purchase personal readings if you like. And then it's going to be off for some time because I am going to be going to Los Angeles and it's not for Divine Miracles that I am actually going there. I'm going there to um, sing, to record some singing with a Canadian friend of mine and um, that's just a completely different, new, spontaneous thing that I'm doing <laughs> on top of everything else. But I am going to be there and I'm also going to meet up with some of you guys um, who want to just have dinner with me and um, talk and whatever. So I will keep you posted on what's going on with that. Um, but that will be happening at the beginning of November. Um, the dinner will be happening, if everything goes well, uh, on the 9th of November. So that will be on a Friday. But I will keep you posted as to when I'm going to be there and exactly what's going on. Um, just keep in mind that I won't be there for readings or anything like that. Um, it's, I'm going to be sort of very, very busy for um, 10 of the 14 days that I will be there. So um, I just wanted to be able to catch up with some of you guys. And also I wanted to let you all know that next year is going to be what I feel is a very travelling year for myself. So a lot of you are, are requesting that I come and speak to you guys about different things and I want nothing more than to be able to do that. Um, so the personal reading structure that I have at the moment will be very, very different next year. Um, this is to accommodate all of you and also I'm trying to get more into uh, creating books and cards and things and giving you free videos and um, free articles. So most of my things are going to be free and uh, the only way that I can do that is actually to put the work in. So that is what I'm going to be planning on doing next year. Um, I know that a lot of you guys are waiting for me to come to your town or whatever and uh, so that is what I'm focusing on and uh, this year has been a very very hectic time for myself and for everybody else as we already know and I thank you all so very much for being patient with me in the process that I've been going through um, and so that I can keep bringing you guys videos and information. There just needs to be times where I pull back and um, I just take control of, of my own life and what's going on. Uh, so I haven't forgotten all of you guys and I've been meaning to make videos because I really love making videos and spending time with you, what well, feels like I'm spending time with you. <laughs> and uh, this month, October, once again since last month in September I did um, readings for the elements. So whether you're fire, water, air or earth element, you had a little bit of a, um, information uh, just for you. So I'm going to keep doing that structure. Um, it means a little bit more work, but that's okay. Um, I, I just like the way that it all comes and fits together. And also I will do just normal message from the angels. This is a very different angel that we're going to be talking to today and or with. And I've also got a little bit of um, information about, um, you know, the crystal store and all that sort of thing, because now I am able to bring big crystals, also incense and things like that. So um, there's one crystal in particular, the Aura Light, which I really feel that every single person needs to have. Um, it's, it's, it's been found in, in Canada and it's actually 1.6 billion years old. So you can imagine the history and the stories that the crystals have to tell us. So that's also coming up um, in another video. I'll be talking more about the Aura Light and how you can get one for yourself and all that sort of thing. So, um, once again, welcome everybody. This is the guidance for October. This is my intuitive guidance for all of you. This is not, um, you know, worldwide disaster predictions and, or anything like that. It's coming from my heart to yours. I do have some notes about it, of course, which I'll try to read. The sun is sort of beaming in this window today, so it's a, a wonderful opportunity for me to talk to you guys with the sun coming in the window. Um, so sometimes I'll be looking down at my piece of paper because I have to um, keep my train of thought and <laughs> yeah, I thought if you let me go I'll just keep on going all day. <laughs> so I need something to keep me um, straight. <laughs> anyway, alright, so as we know this is the month of October 
Um, also, octo meaning eight, so it's funny how it's the tenth month, but it means eight. But anyway, um, with eight, we look at infinity, um, you know, the never ending cycle of life. Um, things coming to fruition, you know, you know, building up, things building up to, to be completed. And I really feel that that is also what the month of October is about. And I did have some keynotes here. I'll just tell you my keynotes first. Um, for the month of October, uh, self-healing is going to be a must. We have been working on this um, all year. Well, for a long time we've been working on self-healing, right? And some of us still struggle so much with actually accepting ourselves uh, for who we are, all of the bits and pieces of who we are. And so this month is going to be more about that, you know, reconnecting with yourself, uh, healing yourself, letting go of all that, you know, rubbish that we've had in the past and the questions and the pondering and the procrastinations that we have throughout our life. So self-healing is a must. Forget everybody else. It is time for you. So there are going to be things that come up in your life, no doubt, okay? Um, everybody has these things that just pop up out of nowhere, as I really, really know well. Um, but we have to forget, uh, not, not so much forgetting um, who they are or whatever, but forgetting their problems, um, especially when you are trying to heal yourself. It's, it's all too easy to want other people to heal. And then we take on, you know, their problems and take on their worries and dramas and all, and we try to figure it out for them and be there and all that. So forget all about that. Uh, your job is mainly to just send light over the situation and trust your intuition will always guide you um, when it comes to people and their problems. So really take time for you getting to know who you are, you know, what you're here for, um, you know, more about healing yourself, etc. We must work with crystals. This is very, very important because the crystals are holding you to that higher vibration which you are naturally a part of. You are very, very high vibration and we forget that. And the crystals bring it back to us, especially the Auralite. And I'm actually wearing, I always wear this, um, an Auralite pendant. Um, see? And it's just got a Herkimer diamond in the top. But I always wear this. And ever since I got one, I used to wear the Super 7 and then uh, got, got this one. And you just calm right down, your voice changes. Um, you have experiences like never before and slowly but surely your particular aura like crystal will start talking to you. So if you haven't tried any other crystal or you are a clear quartz crystal lover or an amethyst lover, you are going to love the aura light and I'll show you I've got a really really big piece actually. I'm very very lucky to be able to get this and I'm getting some for all you guys so you can see it. See? Now what it's got, it's got 23 different elements in there and at least 17 of those elements are always in every single piece of aura light. So more about that in a, in a different video. But this is a must have, I really, really feel a must have crystal for, for everybody who's trying to grasp spirituality, who's trying to do all the right things, who's just trying to get along in life. Um, this really brings out your beautiful um, attributes that you already have whilst calming down any negative emotions that you also feel. There's just so much that happens with the aura light. So the crystal is a must. Um, they each hold vital information especially for you. So when you choose a crystal or you feel drawn to a crystal even online, that crystal is calling to you um, and, and you know, wants to be yours. So it has your personal information in it. Okay, the next little note was jealousy is a curse. It turns to hate. Uh, lower emotions are leaving you. So be prepared to transform. A lot of people are jealous of other people. Um, and it's not so, it doesn't always start out as jealousy. It just starts out as sort of like an envy. Like you become envious of what, the other, what you feel the other person has or how you feel that they look. And, and it's all coming back to yourself. Um, you know, you, you have this feeling that you are not quite right or not quite at that level or you just don't look right or something is wrong with you. And so then you see it, it what you feel is right in somebody else and uh, suddenly you become consumed with that person or that situation or whatever it is. 
and um, then you just end up being really, really angry about it. And at the same time that you're angry about it, you can't stop thinking about it. And it really, really is a bad, bad um, emotion. A lot of you are going to be having to look at this emotion within yourself. You know, look at that emotion and realize where you do it, you know, where you're doing it to other people um, and all those sorts of things. And just just try your best to let that go and just send again, always sending this love light out over the person that you might get a little bit envious of. Remember that everybody um, has their own road and their own path and um, you don't know what people have gone through to get where they are. You don't know, you know, if somebody really makes you that angry then you have to look at the reasons why you might be angry at yourself, you know. Um, why if you're jealous of other people then maybe some people are also jealous of you and just try to um, look at it uh, don't analyze it too much but but start to let this go because it really will start to eat you up um, inside and uh, you'll get all kinds of physical problems from it wondering why you've got these problems and uh, a lot of these lower emotions are stemming you know bringing these problems on so that's one thing we really need to let go because we're transforming now. So we don't want that stuff hanging around. Okay, be sure that you're outside in the sun, in the rain, in whatever weather it is for at least two hours a day. This is very, very vital for your self-healing on all levels. Okay, so the most important thing was self-healing and we're being shown a way that we can do it easily or more easier. And that is by sitting outside. Just go out there. I force myself to get outside and actually do some gardening or something. Even though I love gardening, I'm sitting there and I'm going, no, I can't go out there because I've got to do, you know, a million other things that aren't gardening. Uh, <laughs> but I make myself go out there and everything can wait. You know, things can wait. People can wait. Um, you must do things for yourself. This is very, very important for the month of October. Sitting outside, you will also clear your aura very, very naturally very, very easily. The sunlight will actually kickstart all your um, uh, bodily organs into function. So that's happening as well. As well as you are connecting with nature, even if you're not talking to a tree or hugging a tree or <laughs> anything like that, you are still connecting with nature. It, it will talk to you, give you inspiration. Suddenly before you know it, when you go back inside, you can work diligently you know, and get the work and the things done that you wanted to get done. Two hours a day, people. Um, I used to say five minutes a day sitting in meditation, uh, but now it's very, very vital that we have this two hours a day at least of sunshine. You know, if you can spend all day outside, you're, that's, you're going well. <laughs> okay, so two hours a day, so it's very, very vital for your self-healing. While you're outside, ask for this healing to overtake you, you know, in your body. And you must visualize, so when you, whenever you are asking for something, you must visualize it already coming about for you. Okay, action is always required before results occur. So I found, especially since my grandma has been living with me, that when she prays at night, which I help her with her praying every night, but when she prays at night, she almost begs almost begs God, you know, for assistance, you know, beg, 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 please do this, please, please, please do this, you know, all this. And, and it doesn't, it's not going to work because you, you're just begging for information, you're begging for help. In other words, you're not seeing where you can actually take steps forward. I say to Grandma, please see yourself smoothly transitioning, Grandma, you know, you just, everything's going to be okay, like she worries about everybody um, in the family, whether they're going to be, I mean, all right or not, you know, and that's wasting your time, you know. Just imagine that there is hope for everybody. So whether there are people, um, you know, in your life now that you just, just won't get it or, or, or just always going to be negative, still keep the hope for that person because they may just be going through a transitional phase at the moment or for the next 10 years and not get it, you know, not get it as easily as you are getting it. Have patience with these people and just visualize things going smoothly. So, uh, you know, action is required before results occurred. So think about what you're thinking, <laughs> you know, and ask yourself where you can take a step forward in your life. And then you will see that the angels and the guides and, and God and the universe 
conspire to work with you. They, won't, they can't help you win the lottery if you are just sitting on your chair going, I wish I'd win the lottery, it's never going to happen to me. Blah, blah, blah. You know, but if, if you focus on the fact that not only can you, you know, have this abundance in your life, but if you can think yourself abundant already before you've even seen the results of things, it'll happen. You know, you, you'll just be in the zone um, of receiving. So feel yourself worthy of receiving as well as you go along, which is hard, isn't it? <laughs> okay, now the next key phrase is long-standing issues will begin to reverse, but you need to hang on to faith, all right? I'm seeing this happening in my own life. There's just been this 10 years of this constant grind, grind, grind um, in my life. And um, I'm starting to see flickers of success, you know, um, just little things that are starting to build up into, into this great big completion, you know, finally over. And I must hold on to the faith and keep visualizing this success for myself and visualizing that which I wish to have in my life. It's so very important, it's, what, it's faith. You know, faith can move mountains as we know. So you have faith in something before it's even occurred and then you see, you know, this flickers of things happening, happening, happening and suddenly it's completely finished. So there is a plan for everybody. You know, you've made a life purpose for yourself that has twists and turns along the way. It's never completely straight because how boring would that be, right? You know, we've got lots of different ways to the same goal. We've got lots of different, um, we need to feel like we are limitless instead of limiting ourselves. I must do this, must, 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 must. All of that needs to stop. So, uh, you know, take action. Long standing issues will begin to reverse, but hang on to your faith about these things. Don't beg, remember, but go but keep on seeing that, yes, everything will work out. Keep on feeling in that way. And if it doesn't work out, okay, people say, oh, but I did that and it didn't work out. If it doesn't work out now, you will see the benevolent reasons for it happening. You know, you will. And it's not just a benefit to you sometimes. It's a benefit for other people that may be involved or the ripple effect of what's going on in your life and how it affects other people later on down the track. So please know that the most benevolent out outcome always does happen. It does. Trust yourself. Oh my goodness. This is one of the biggest, biggest things that you will always see me going on about is trusting yourself that you know what you are doing. It's very, very important. We, we often look to other people for the answers, you know. Um, you know, we're looking here and we're going, oh my God, you know, they're talking about this, maybe that's right. Ah, you start getting like on this brainwave about this other person, you know. And I always teach you guys that, um, yes, I'm giving you my point of view on something. I am trusting, you know, what I am telling you as, as truth, okay. But you must find this truth within yourself. You all have it. It's just how we are born, but we are programmed in school and in life that we can only learn something if someone else tells us how to do it. So to break free of that cycle is one of the hardest things but the most rewarding things that you can do. You know, you'll get the most rewards from trusting yourself. So please learn to trust yourself this month and it just, all it, all it means is do not second guess anything that you are thinking. So you take the first thought that you're thinking of, go with it. Okay, trust yourself. Then you will see the turn of events that happen in your life to your liking. Whenever things are going wrong in our life, think about how, you know, what are your thoughts been like? Is if they've been negative, then it's any wonder that things are not working out for you. Please trust yourself. Trusting yourself does not mean forcing your opinions on somebody else or forcing them to change their mind. You know, uh, for example, say that there's a guy who really wants a girl and he's trusting himself and he's going, I'm going to trust that everything's going to work out with her. I'm going to trust that, um, you know, we're supposed to be together. But that's not giving her the opportunity to have her own free will, you see. 
So you, you are trusting your feelings and you know you are believing in yourself, etc. But you're also forcing your expressions and your energy on somebody else who may not be ready for that. So trusting yourself is about your life path, about what you want to do. And it's not pushing all of that onto somebody else, but are instead asking that if it is the most benevolent thing for both of you to be together, that you are trusting that it will happen. You see, there's a little bit of a difference in the energy with that. So just, just watch this, these little patterns that you may do, because you may be sabotaging you know, your own success without even realizing it. Okay, false light workers. Okay, they've always been there. All right, uh, deal with yourself and deal with your own light. And the, the biggest thing is judging not, you know. So if, for example, there are people who are pre, pre, putting themselves out there as though they are full of light and love and they are trying to help people, but at the same token, you are noticing that the same person is, is, is just, there's just something weird about them. You, you just can't get it out of your head. You just don't, you don't resonate with what they're saying completely, but something is compelling you to continue to look. And the more that you look, the more that you're getting a little bit annoyed about this person. So you have to stop that pattern because even if the worst person in the world is, um, you know, trying to deceive, uh, <laughs> sorry, if, if there are people that are light workers, okay, but yet they are trying to deceive you into thinking that they are light workers, then that is to their own detriment in life, you know. Um, they will never succeed, they will never, um, they may in the short term seem like they are succeeding. But, you know, as time goes on, people will just work this out. We are all becoming very, very, you know, intuitive, as I always say. And because of that, you know, you are going to be able to spot people that are fake, but have no judgment to that. They are doing what they believe is right for them, okay? You're doing what you believe is right for you. And while you are placing judgment on other people, judgment is going to be coming right back onto you, you see? So it's just this, this circle of events. So don't worry about what other people are saying or doing or whatever on the internet. If you don't like what someone is saying to you, drop the whole thing, delete, you know, just delete it. And don't go back there. And maybe in a couple of years' time, there'll be nowhere to be seen. You know, who knows? Um, they may fall out because they're realizing. But it's a lesson for them as well. You know, it's a lesson for them to um, stop working with the ego and start working with the, the universe and the universal energies. And whenever you're considering doing something, always ask yourself, is this really for my highest good? Is this really for the highest good of the earth and for the, you know, for the whole people? Is it really going to be the best thing for them? And if you can say yes, then just keep going. <laughs> so not everybody, there's light workers that uh, are false. You know, that's true. We, we see that everywhere. Um, there are people that are negative that are false as well. <laughs> you know, it's just a vicious cycle of things. So just don't focus on this anymore, okay? Uh, just forget about it. You need to find your own path and you need to find your own way. And you can't do that while you're still focusing on a thousand other people who may or may not be light workers. Just let it go. Do yourself a favor and let it go. <laughs> All right. Uh, energies are high, but the worst is over. Okay. So we've had the bloating, we've had the itchy skin, we've had the uh, funny eyes, we've had. Um, emotions come to the surface and we've been crying when we look at different things and we've been waking up with weird dreams, we've been waking up tired, we've been waking up with our whole bodies aching, we've been waking up at certain times during the night, we've been um, resisting our need for sleep and staying up anyway, that's me. Um, <laughs> we've, you know, all these things and at the same token, uh, all of these things have been happening to us um, we've had normal daily life just come and, and bombard us with crap and um, a lot of us have just been wanting to explode, leave the planet, uh, stay above the world for a little while and come back down when we're ready. Okay, so the energies have been crazy and we are seeing the worst of it. So uh, the worst of it is, is you know, basically over, alright. So you're still going to obviously throw out our life. 
we are still learning, we are still growing, we are still teaching ourselves. We need to be patient with ourselves in the process. Okay? Realize that things are coming up only as lessons in our life, only as a hidden blessing. Okay? But we are going to be able to handle it because we are falling into a pattern of being more and more at peace than we've ever been before. I've seen it all happening all over the place. Despite the fact that people are going through such physical symptoms and emotional symptoms and spiritual symptoms even, they are still hanging on to their perspective of things and pulling themselves away from it and not getting too caught up. They're realizing that there are high energies, there are going to be low energies, but at the moment we have gone through basically the worst that we're going to have for this year. As I said, that being said, um, there are still going to be things that come up in your life naturally, okay? But you're going to know how to handle it. You're going to use your energy with you. Don't use it against yourself. Use it to help you, okay? Connect with your guides, connect with your angels. And remember, they are always there, all right? So many people say to me, oh, I'm doing everything I can. I still can't connect. Please don't try so hard. Please just trust that they are there. That, that is the key to you actually experiencing things. All right, when you are trusting that they are there and you are open to this, you know, trust it and be open to it and sense the subtle energies that happen. Look at your dreams. Start paying attention to your dreams. Look at the clock, 11-11, you know, all the time. Um, these are all messages that you are not alone. Just, just go for the little things. Stop, stop expecting, you know, big wham bam, big massive warrior guide straight in your face or something. That will come in time if that's if that's what your guide is. You know, it will come in time where you will actually really visually see them. But not if you're not ready. Not if you're scared of every little thing that happens, and not if you're not trusting or, or being open to this as well as protecting yourself at all times but being open to it and leaving it at that, you know, just leave it that I'm open to this. When, when you're ready, give me something that is easy for me to understand, that is not going to frighten me, that is, um, you know, just right there in my, something completely visual and I'm going to trust that that's happening and then take your attention away from it. Stop harpering on about it, you know, so many people do that and I know, I know what it's like because I used to do exactly the same thing and, um, you know, I felt like I wasn't getting anywhere and I was actually blocking the transmission the whole time. So please, um, remember that you guys and angels are there to help you and uh, the energies are going to be high but you are going to be able to handle this. And the last thing is, do not worry, be free. This was very, very important as well. As we know, worry can cause heart attack and all types of problems going on in your body and we've, we've been conditioned to worry or, or be concerned about things in our life and that needs to stop, okay? Be free, free yourself, free your mind and the rest will follow. <laughs> That's some song, right? Um, okay, so those were the key points um, for October and I know there's, there's quite a lot of it there um, and as always I'll write these all up for you and now we will just get on to um, the different elements, so the fire signs are Sagittarius, Leo and Aries and Archangel Michael is residing over, over uh, the fire signs. Okay, so that is the element. Um, fire is the element and those are the star signs. And Archangel Michael oversees the element of fire. Okay, every single one of you can talk to Archangel Michael at any, any time that you like. That this is just... Um, a guide which is a traditional guide about the roles of the archangels. In reality, the archangels and uh, the angels and the seraphim and the cherubim and all of those um, different orders of angels do not have any sort of order at all. The way that they see each other is through colour and through vibration, through sound and through symbols. So they recognize each other in this way. And they don't say, oh, you're Archangel Michael. Oh, praise be to Michael. None of them do that. They just go, that's Archangel Michael or, or Michael, or that's the sound of such and such. And they just know him, who he is. Um, they love him for who he is. And they don't um, feel like he is above them or beneath them. It's all equal, which is something that our minds can't comprehend. So man has made a set of 
um, you know, hierarchies for the angels, like a government system which doesn't really exist, but it helps, does help us to sort of classify things. Okay? So Archangel Michael is there. He's also, um, you know, working with uh, the element fire, so um, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, is also working with the salamanders in the elemental kingdom, which I'll leave an article down there. All right. Then we've got air, okay, which is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, and Archangel Raphael oversees uh, air, okay. Water is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Archangel Gabriel is working with the water element. And Earth is Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. And Archangel Uriel is overseeing the element of Earth. Okay? Now, so in that, um, we have a breakdown of what's going to happen for the month of October. And so for the fire signs, uh, which is Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries, Sorry, I always have to read them because I always get it all confuddled. Uh, the colour blue is going to be um, very important, okay? <laughs> and I'm a fire sign with the blue on. Alright. You are enjoying life's smaller blessings. Spending quiet time alone is very, very important for you. Really get to know your worth, okay? Who you really are. It's very, very hard for people to do that. Um, successful self-employment or successful business um, you know you are the only one that can make it happen in your life if it's going to be it's going to be you you know um, sometimes I say if it's going to be it's going to be me and that was uh, I used to work for Mary Kay and so that was their saying and that is a really a good thing okay so you are going to have successful self-employment if you are so inclined to do that uh, flowers and incenses help you to concentrate easier so just those smells, okay, it's very, very important that we get all the senses working. So, um, for example, I've got Nag Shampoo on at the moment when I'm sitting here talking to you, and it's very, very calming to me. Um, so try different incenses and see which ones, you know, smell right for you and help you to concentrate or bring abundance in your life and all those sorts of things. It's putting you in a mind frame of that to occur. Uh, be sure you are awakening all of the senses, yes. Expect events to occur at great speed, um, but avoid the temptation to rush. Okay, so although things are happening very, very fast in your life, don't feel like you've got to be in this kind of a mode where you're like, you know, go, wow, this, this is great and I'm smoothly going along with it. All right, it's easy to feel excited, that's, that's not a problem, but just don't feel like you um, are getting yourself into... Um, a rush because you know that that's also a worry habit of, that I actually have is I get and I have to do have to do have to do and you don't have to do anything okay people can wait things can wait so just slow yourself down and um, and just realize okay this is happening but I'm cool I'm, I'm where I need to be okay uh, review your options all right, so help is going to be available to you now and it is from an unexpected source. Think about before you make any major decisions, okay, this month especially, really think about them, you know, review what options you have for, for each decision that you need to make. Don't try to think too hard about it, but just think for a moment before you make your decision. Look for creative solutions. Uh, connect with trees, the fairies and the unicorns, so being outside in nature is very, very important. Like I said, um, connecting with trees, especially uh, the fire signs will have um, you know, a special connection with um, nature anyway, we're nature lovers, um, as, as are all the, you know, the, the elements of course, um, but uh, you will find that you are most receptive uh, to tree energy and the spirits that live within trees as well. Um, uh, there is going to be endings to difficult situations and again focus on smooth sailing for that. Things are going to get better. Recovery of lost items or recovery from illness or addictions will be easier. Okay, so the, the key word I feel there is just the word recovery. So, um, you know, whatever that means to you in your life right now, see this is happening for you. And Archangel Michael says to us, have faith in yourself, you can do it. That was his little message for us for the month um, of October. Okay, 
So uh, that was just the message that came through. Remember, blue is your healing color. Uh, obviously, it works with your, your throat chakra, but it also works for astral traveling. Um, you know, so if you have blue, blue crystals, for example, they will help you um, with connecting to the astral realms. Um, and you know your higher self and all that sort of thing and blue is also the color uh, of a candle if you will um, to take around your home and start doing a clearing around your home of any lower energies that may be stagnant or caught or trapped and ask Archangel Michael to work with you um, in, in escorting anything of negative or lower uh, energies to the light Mentioning Archangel Michael's name is very, very powerful because um, he does admit quite, quite a lot of light. And so anything that's lower, like, um, you know, spirit bound, earth bound, you know, spirits and all that sort of thing, anything that's lower like that and has been hiding is going to see this light and go, oh my gosh, this, there he is, you know, and you'll be able to escort them and help them away. It's also good because, um, you know, there may be negative attachments that you've picked up just in your daily day-to-day -day life and you know forgotten to shield yourself or um, you're really taking on the emotions of somebody else and ask that for this clearing to happen where, where the color blue it'll make you feel like you are healing uh, this is for the month of October and it will also remind you to connect with Archangel Michael and help yourself you know always helping yourself that's what you've got to do and this in turn helps other people and the world as well. So that was what was happening for us for the um, month of October. Then we have air, the element of air, and that is Libra, Gemini and Aquarius. And you guys are very, very creative this month. Um, and Archangel Raphael is working with you. Okay, so you have new opportunities. Green lights, so uh, the colour is green for all of you as a healing colour, which is good because that's Archangel Michael's colour as well. Archangel Raphael's colour, sorry. <clears throat> you may res be receiving this month, so you need to be open to receiving things and believe that it's okay for you to get a, a bonus every now and then for yourself. Um, either money, your help, or people's caring for you. Allow this to come through, you know. Stop always giving so much to other people. Um, and and uh, feeling feeling depleted from doing that, you know, let people give to you, and this is the month that's going to happen. If you're worrying about your finances, you need to stop that because that's becoming a habit for you. Um, instead, focus on the floodgates opening. So even if you just picture these gates, you know, everyone can imagine a pair of gates, right? Imagining that up in the universe somewhere, and it's open, and all this this gold is flowing through. You know, towards you. It's making a beeline right towards you. Keep opening the floodgates and, and allowing this abundance to come through. We all can do that. Just as I was doing it, I was imagining it myself. So, <laughs> um, okay, so stop worrying about finances. Uh, time to, to change old habits. Now, each of you will know that there's one thing that you do. I mean, everybody has one thing at least that they know that they need to change. So make this, um, you know, something that you, you're willing to look at in your life. There is um, relief for the first time for a lot of you in, in, in life's problems. Um, and karma is going to be very good to you. So there are things that you are going to get returned to you that are going to be such a blessing. Um, and you're just not going to believe your luck, you know, that this has happened considering a lot of the times, you know, not so much happens in your life. So um, karma is going to be very good. Uh, complete that project so there's there's people that have got things that are half finished you know start working on this again um, and a homecoming or uh, a celebration happening within the home um, and if you are moving home it's going to be smooth and clear you're going to find the right place um, you know imagine yourself finding the right place imagine yourself being there uh, children are an important focus for the month and you are each naturally sensitive to children's needs. This is the air signs, of course. Don't be too strict and see another person's point of view with compassion. I mean, that's, that's you know, hard to do sometimes. But anyway, uh, Archangel Raphael says, as you heal yourself, you heal the world. Change it all up. So change everything up that you're doing in your life and, and see what that brings for you. Okay, that was interesting. So we have... 
the element of water which is Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces and your colour is red alright so the red um, is like the base chakra but the, the very first thing that came through was watch your anger and outbursts alright so maybe you get so emotional and caught up in things um, being you know a water sign it's easy that you know you would be that way um, and suddenly you might just blow your, your lid you know and um, have, get crazy at everybody and then go oh my god what have I done just be careful of this this month um, you know what, what what are you saying and just take a moment before you open your mouth and if you're still saying in the next moment then go ahead <laughs> but um, yeah just watch okay so that was something that may get you in trouble I don't know um, okay you are brilliant you uh, water signs are brilliant but you're rather sensitive to criticism okay <laughs> So, you know, someone gives, tries to give you some criti constructive criticism and you take, oh gosh, you take it all on board and you get very upset about it. Um, ask that this change within you. Okay, there is, there is people that are just plain mean, so that's, you know, different. Everyone would feel that way. But if someone's trying to give you a suggestion, perhaps, and it's not so much criticism, don't always take it as a criticism. Just see it as a suggestion. Um, so, yeah, everything is not a personal attack. All right. Remember to connect with your higher self, and this helps to calm you. Again, the aura light is going to be very, very important for you. Uh, there is excitement and new things coming. Try not to get caught up with everybody else. All right. You know more than you ever need to accept yourself. You you now more than ever need to accept yourself. Every part of you. Uh, Accept every part of who you are and don't blame yourself every time if others don't understand you or treat you very well. Please don't blame yourself. Don't take it personally. Remember what I said before. It's all about you this month. So, um, you know, other people are going to have their own point of view and their own ways of doing things. And if you focus on that, you're going to lose track on your own life and your own purpose. You know, you're wasting time worrying about what everybody else thinks or what they think of you even. Who cares? Like they're wasting their energy doing that if they're worrying about you every five minutes. Just keep focusing. Just keep focusing. Keep it smooth. Um, you know, just everything's going to be smooth, and you're going to be able to handle anything that comes up. It makes all the difference to you. Uh, okay. There are those who are trustworthy in your life and who are dear friends to you. Okay. Love them and accept them. Um, you each have one person who comes to mind as either a hindrance in your life or a deep help to you. Release the hindrances without guilt. Okay, so you don't have to go and say, well, you can just go get there, right? You don't have to do any of that. You just turn your energy away from them and they gradually will fall away from you anyway. But keep the ones that are good to you. Don't toss them aside or, or mistrust them. And, you know, you all know the ones that have always been there. Please don't push them away because they, if they are always been there with you through the hard times, they will love to be with you through the good times. Don't mistrust everybody. This is a big thing for the water signs. Okay, trust, you know, you'll, you'll know which ones are your, your, are your friends. Hang on to them. Love them. Even if you only have one friend in your whole life, that is all that really matters. You know, you need to be your own best friend, of course. And then you can be a best friend to somebody else as well. But don't, don't mistrust everybody, okay? Even, the, even sometimes when um, a good friend of yours might be having uh, a bad day. That doesn't mean that they're suddenly against you. They're just having a bad day, okay? So this is very, very important. Um, you'll be appreciated more when you appreciate yourself. Look out on the road. Be aware of everything without absorbing it, okay? So there was a direct message there to watch yourself when you're driving. Again, I can see in my mind's eye some people furiously texting while they are driving <laughs> and also trying to talk on their, um, their phones with the, the headphones in. And you cannot concentrate on what's going on around you doing that. People can wait. Be very careful on the road this month, people. Um, and the message for you uh, for the water sign, sorry, it was Archangel Gabriel that's working with you. Um, so you you do benefit a lot also from the moon energy as well. 
So you would have really felt that massive full moon last night. Okay, be yourself. There is no one quite like you. That was the message from Archangel Gabriel. It's okay to be who you are. People will love you for that eventually. And if they don't, well, too bad. You know, you still need to be true to yourself. And that applies to everybody. It's so good that there is an element of truth in, in this for every single element. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, okay, so the next element is Earth. All right. And that is Archangel Uriel overseeing Earth. Um, and it's Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. And purple. Purple was the color for you uh, for this month. Be open and clear your crown. Okay, so the crown chakra right on the top. Also your third eye is between your eyebrows. Okay, this whole area, this whole section, if we quarter it around, we don't want to just think of the top. We want to think of the, the back. You want to think of the top. You want to think of the sides. You want to think of the brow. Okay, this whole thing. Let's clear that. <laughs> Um, and it's time for a new haircut, people, for some people. <laughs> and uh, you'll feel completely different once you get one. <laughs> Anything new you try will wind up being, you'll really like it, all right? So switch things around, Tra change things around. Avoid people who are emotionally taking from you. Stand up for yourself, think for yourself, and make your own judgments if need be. Very, very... Um, easy for earth people to because um, the earth people are usually so very very grounded okay a lot of people will um, bend their ear and use them as a counselor like every five minutes and um, it you know it becomes all too much for a lot of uh, the earth uh, people so just stand up for yourself and say no when you need to okay make your own judgments about things don't don't have to rely on what other people are doing and follow them Please make your own judgments about things. Uh, have patience while you work things all out in your life. Okay, <laughs> easy enough for you to be stubborn, and um, you know you don't want to change a particular view. But uh, just just be patient with yourself as you're trying to work out where you're going in your life. Uh, be careful in intimate relationships that you do not act out or walk out. Okay, keep calm and think before you act. So whatever you know intimate relationships you are having and you know it doesn't always have to mean a romantic relationship so this could even be a deep connection that you have with somebody at work for example so be careful that you don't um, just walk out of there okay think before you act appreciate the light that you are know you have many talents okay and soon more of these are going to become more and more apparent in your life and the message for you for the earth signs is you are all the friend you need okay don't panic if you don't have a thousand friends you know you are all the friend that you need get to really know yourself first that's the most important relationship you're ever going to have in your life okay so those were the messages to you, all of you guys for all the different elements and as i said i will write all this up but i do have a message from the angel of october <laughs> 